Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Cube SMP. I'm in my nether hub here because I was just getting some stuff, but we are going to head back to spawn. There's a lot of stuff we need to check out at spawn today actually, a lot has happened. Um, for those of you who were a part of the live stream today, you might have seen some of the progress that was made on a few things. Uh, most of it was just messing around though, so if you were there, it was a great time. Oh, I'm actually going to need those power rails, why, why did I leave those there? I have a bunch of rails in my inventory. Um, anything? Okay, so I had all my armor. I lost my helmet. I broke my helmet because on one of the live streams, H and Bionni were fighting around, and I forgot that I was low durability with these items, so the helmet broke. I'm not too fussed out about it, though. It doesn't matter to me, really. It wouldn't be too hard to get a protection for back because I've got the diamonds for it and to make the helmet uh, as well. But it, now that we're at spawn, uh, nothing's happened here. But I want to explain to you the plans that we do have. Uh, the plans that we do have coming out this way, of course, is going to be the museum. I don't, I, hmm, I'm not sure if they're going to build it here, though. They've never actually confirmed it, but over here would be the museum kind of area if they are building it here. But H had the idea that that way would be all the kind of shops, say you're in real life comparison, Walmart. And then over here would be all the restaurants. So like fast food places, fancy dining areas, and there would be a bunch of restaurants here. We really want restaurants to be on the server. We think it'd add a nice touch. So let me know what you think of that. <laughs> One thing I wanted to clarify. In the last cube episode I did, I mentioned mods. This has been eating at me for like the last two days because it appears a lot of you got confused by the way I was trying to portray that message, but it's not going to be on this server. SMP is going to stay as it is on my channel every two days as it's always been. The mods I was talking about would be on another server on an entirely new series, and it looks like it's going to happen. We'll test it out, see how people like it at first, but it would not affect this series at all. So you would not see any change in the the frequency of cube SMPs uploaded. And you know, if you like the cube mod server as well, you'll have two series to look forward to. And if people like it, I might do that one every other day when UHC's not on, on the days that UHC would be um, off season. But uh, yeah, I'm still hypothesizing everything <laughs> to do with schedules and stuff. There's still a lot of things we need to check out at spawn here. Let me get to that in a sec. Yeah, I want to go this way first because there's a lot more things over that way that we need to check out. And there's some things over here that we need to get out of the way first, like buying more food. Oh, no, we've got a bunch of chicken here, actually. Never mind. Spawn here is going to be a while. <laughs> okay, so um, Rusher's still preparing his spot. Vast's snow shop. I believe Vast took all the snow out of his shop. Yeah, he had to use it to do something. I can't remember what it was. He told me it was something. I don't know. Uh, but up here... Oh, the way up here. I need to throw out my stuff into the lost and found because I've got a lot of stuff that I don't want. Grape said you would sell me some smooth stuff. I don't want to show you, <laughs> but most of you probably already know uh, of the new builds and stuff. But uh, Grape said he would sell me some smooth stone. I might want to keep the cobble, actually. I've got a lot of wood. Quartz can go. It's not going to do anything. You throw away that. Sticks. We've got enough sticks where Russia came from. Redstone. Let's clear our inventory a bit here. Packed ice is actually kind of rare now that I don't sell it anymore, so we'll keep that. Oh, I can't. Oh, uh, so another thing. Uh, I think on the live stream today or yesterday, I lost my bow for the millionth time. I fell to my death in the end, and the bow went off the ledge. So I got to get another one of those. And I'm hoping he's got some power fives. He does not. Hmm. <laughs> does he have any bows, period, that I could buy real quick? Just snatch one. Does he have an ATM in here? No, he doesn't. Power 4, Flame 1, okay. Any other bows? Does he have any Infinity bows? Infinity. Does not look like it. Or they're sold out. Maybe he has some Infinity books that I can apply to it right here. Ah, no, he's, he's out. Um, yeah, okay, I bet that's about it for that shop then. Uh, but if we progress over here, here's where all the big stuff has been happening. Um, I need to put price tags on the blocks in here, and oh, one other thing Bayani did that I forgot about is he cleaned up all the chests around spawn that had junk in them, and he told me he left it somewhere I would see it easily, so if we head over here, I'm getting low frames here, yeah, I think it's just because I'm around the chum bucket or whatchamacallit, the lost and found, the redstone over there really affects my frame rate sometimes, 
Grazer moving this stuff from the road. So he took all the chests and he moved them into the block shop. And I guess, is this all mine now or? What the heck, fireworks star? What's all this about? Who made fireworks stars? Okay. <laughs> uh, lots of junk. I'd say this chest is the best. Ah, uh, I wonder if I can take some of this stuff. I don't even know what a fireworks star does. Cyan, yellow, orange, blue. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. I think, oh, I actually think it might have to do with the fireworks show we put on a while back at the cube on the corner there. I'd have to ask John about it, though, if that means anything. I'm going to put this in the quartz chest. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't we have two and a half, one and a half? Where would someone have paid? I'm not sure if we had one and a half, actually. I thought we did. We'll see. We'll find out. So down here, uh, B, uh, we've, we tore down the bread farm because it wasn't functional. B is now making her... Well, it's, she's claimed the land here. She's going to build something. Don't touch or she'll sting you. I don't want to be stung. I don't know what's going to be here. I don't recognize this tree being here before, so I think that's going to be part of her build, whatever she makes. But, uh, yeah, B has claimed this land. If we move, her, move over here, this is the Chipotle. <laughs> this would be the first of the many restaurants on the server. And it's going to be on this side of the spawn just because we want to test out how it would look first before we extend a, um, a branch of restaurants down that way. But uh, we were working on this on the live stream today. Looks phenomenal so far. Um, <laughs> there's not really much to it yet, but I like how it looks. They kind of looked up an image of Chipotle and, and built it. I personally am not familiar with the restaurant, but H-Bomb is, and Bionni and everyone else is, and it's like H-Bomb's favorite restaurant. He always tweets about it, so he wanted to make one, and I can't wait to see how it plays out. Next up, we got Child Dolphin's Aquarium Shop, which I wanted to put an order in for, but look how nice it looks. He I, it surprised me with this build. I really love the way this looks. Uh, but if we go in, it, it's like themed underwater. I would really love it. Place order here. He does not have a book yet. Is there a hopper? No, I don't think it's complete. And this would be like the cashier place. Pretty interesting. I like it. I, re I really like this building. I don't know why. I feel like the cobblestone gives it that underwater look. And the fact that he's got that water displaying at the top there. I think that might be one of my favorite builds on the server right there. In my eyes, at least. I don't know why. I really love it. He's got all this stuff in here. Yeah, I think he didn't clear the chests that had important stuff in them. I'm still wondering what those firework stars were. Uh, if we had... Okay, so uh, I think Timsey made some modifications to his chicken farm today. I'm not sure, though. He was playing around with it in the live stream. Uh, oh, let's check this out before we go back to the minute shop. So it looks like Bionni built Grape a huge wither skull above his shop, and it looks awesome. Now Parker won't be confused as to whether this is the nether or an actual shop. Grape now sells soul sand in his shop. And I might actually buy some of that because I've got a lot of iron and I'm always in a lack of, of, uh, of soul sand. So let's just take 40. And I wanted to quickly uncover that Grape did buy some iron from us. So we'll take those 10 diamonds and 8 stairs. <laughs> Don't know what that's about. But yeah, we did get a purchase of iron from Grape. So that's something new as well. Uh, but over here, so 4 soul sand, 1 iron. So 1... Oh, wow, I can just buy the whole thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think it's 9 by 3, right? 27 minus 1 slot, which is 26. So basically, he's saying every slot is 1 iron. 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That would be 27. I'm not sure if I can take it, though. be 26, actually. I'm going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy it all. Let's do this. Oh, well, you'll have to make it more expensive next time, Grape. Let's take it all. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, Grape, I bought it all. Uh, I'm going to put a sign here saying he should probably make it more expensive. I, I feel like a nice guy today. Let's do that. Crafting table. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So, let's put a sign here. Sorry, Grape. Oh, made your soul sand too cheap, Grazer. Hey, B. All right, guys, check this out. This is awesome. So apparently, I get everything that's in this chest. Why, he cleaned it all up, and he, he gave it to me for the block shop in his episode, and he said that if anybody had any complaints, that people would have to forward them to him. 
This actually makes my life so much easier. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so I've already got almost a stack of pack dice. I can put it in the pack dice. I've organized the chests a bit to be trapped. Normal, trap, normal. And I put stone, chiseled stone, so the chiseled stone would come out of here and go into here. I would, of course, craft most of these blocks. And I think the mossy stone bricks can go in the stone brick section, but I'll put it on the lower half. But the, the key seller here is the jungle wood. Jungle wood is so hard to get on this server because there's only one known jungle. But now I have all this jungle wood that I can use. That's oak wood. And it's amazing. <laughs> so it's awesome. I love it. Block shop is finally coming together here. And I what I did was I put jungle wood. I've got one thing of jungle wood here. And I think we've got two oak wood stacks in here that i got to take out. So let's go ahead and put that like this. I don't have prices yet that I'm going to settle on, but oak wood would go in here. And we got a bunch more oak wood where that came from. We can even sell sand because some people don't like to get sand. I think this shop's going to be profitable, guys. That's my opinion on the matter. Oh, man. I like this. Okay. So check it out. Bayani built a registration or cashier place. Uh, while we're organizing this, and I'll probably organize this mostly off camera, not me. Oh, by the way, we also need to do something else. So much to do this episode. Uh, I'm going to get a zombie just holding like a pack dice block or something. Uh, finally, we can have the opportunity to sell some pack dice while our pack dice shop is gone. All right. It looks like H directed me to the reed farm here because I couldn't find it before. Uh, so there's some reeds here. None of them are made into paper, so I'll just take some reeds and make them into paper myself. And the reason we're doing this, of course, is because we want to fill in an order for Dolphin. But I need to memorize this place. Oh, it looks like it's starting to turn night. All right, H, you want to move out of the way for a quick sec? Thank you. And I will get out of here. And so it's on the very corner of the shop, which is where I thought I dug, too. So, oh, well. Oh, my gosh, guys, I've never seen these before. I forgot these were even in the game. Iron Trap Doors. This is in the new snapshot. I believe they're made like that. No, they're not. My bad. How are they made again? Like this? No, that's iron bars. Like this? There we go. Iron trap door. That is actually so slick. Check this out. Oh, so you can't... Ah! So that's a property. I believe everything iron needs a, some power to have it go on, right? So let's make an iron pressure plate. What's with all the redstone everywhere? That's odd. And dig a quick hole real quick to experiment with this. Okay. And we'll just... Okay, this was not a good hole because there's something covering it. But we'll put some right here. The trap door. Bam. And I believe... Yeah, it needs power. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool, guys. Hey, isn't that cool? <laughs> But we're over here because I need some squids. We need some squids for some ink sacks so that I can make the book and quill to put an order in. And it looks like we got some sheep over there that have never been killed off yet, which is kind of weird. Ah, I got one. I got a squid right here. Some squids. Bam. Give me your ink sack. Thank you. Oh, they already are there. Okay. So now we just need leather, which who is selling leather? Psst, guys. I see some cows over there on the far lands. Let's go fetch them. You know, I should start selling leather. There seems to be a consistent need for leather on the server. Oh, sweet. I'm getting some. I should be using some looting three here, but ah, oh well. Uh, Mr. Mitch has got like 600 cows, so I think one of his ideas in mind are it will now be a part of the block shop. You can purchase some right now. Uh, Mr. Mitch's one of his ideas is going to be selling leather at his bakery or something like that. I don't even know if he does it yet. I might have to check that out because if he does, then I wasted my time. I didn't go too far away from spawn, though. And check this out, guys. Holy smokes. Remember when we first started the server? This was all in Oak Forest. Isn't it kind of saddening to see, like, it's all coming down now and... There's no more trees. All these months, people been on the server just tearing down the environment. No, I'm just kidding. Most of this was done by me. I always need... Oh, see? Look at this. Look at this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? 
Why would someone leave a cobblestone in the air? Ah, just... Ugh. And there's probably some half trees around here somewhere where half the tree is cut down and half of it is not, like usual. I want this guy. This guy's gonna be my registration person, or the cash register. Come here, buddy. Can you track me like others do, or no? Hmm, maybe skeletons would not be the best fit for this job. We'll take Fred the zombie with us, and we'll just clothe him up as we go. How about that? How does that sound? Yeah, we'll take him. The first one there wins! All the way in, buddy. Come here, your new place forever, until someone accidentally kills you. Right in here, buddy. Nope, no, no, no. All the way in here. All the way in here. Come to the back. There you go. Enter in. Oh, what are you doing? Do I have to get rid of this? Come on now. Hey, 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 hey. Bad, 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 bad. Oh, that was not good. No! Are you serious right now? Subject number two. In we go. All the way back here, and... All done. Oh, you look so cute. And you know what? I'm going to give you some soul sand. Because I just bought that off grape. No, don't pick that up. Don't pick that up. Give it some soul sand. Pick up the soul sand. All right, this guy's got a hat. He seems like the most fit to do this job. Come up. Come up. There we go. Did he pick it up? Why didn't he pick it up? Hmm. <laughs> Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to give this guy packed dice, because that worked last time. Alright, yeah, he's not picking it up. I don't know zombie mechanics, guys, so you guys can't try to help me with that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to H's shop right now and quickly purchase a name tag. I'm going to give him the stack of iron after just to avoid his despawn. So I'll take one real quick. And of course, I got to empty my inventory here. It's full of trash. Hurry up, make it back, make it back. Can we make it back in time? Yes, okay. So, uh, anvil. Do we have an anvil? Yes, we do, actually. Wow, that was coincidental. Awesome. And we have enough levels for a rename. Let's name him Fred, just because. And name tag him. Awesome, so we, he's there forever now. Uh, unless a server snapshot glitch happens. And we'll just empty our inventory here so we don't have to deal with all this stuff and take the stuff we actually need. Voila, Monsieur H-Bomb. I believe it's a stack per. Yes, it is. Perfect. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> what can you do? But right over this hill is, of course, spawn. Two stacks. I do not have that much at the moment. I can sell you almost a stack for 32 iron. I have 60, I believe. Shop isn't done. Hello. And we need to make that book and quill now, actually, so let's do that. We need the leather, the paper, and the squid ink sacks. And I believe once we do this, how do you do this? I forget how you do this. Is there a certain way in which you need to place the book in the squid sack? You take diamonds, I need my iron. How many diamonds? Oh, I believe it's a feather and a squid sack. Oh, there's, yeah, Pat's already there. Let's go check it out. Woo! One. I'd say one diamond's fair for that, even though I'm not ready to sell it yet. Hello, Patrick. How are ya? I need feathers. Yeah, but I'm missing four, which is why I offered iron. Alright, let's do this. There we go, Bucking Quill. So what do you want, Pat? What's the deal here? I would like an aquarium from your shop. Please let me know of the details, such as um, pricing, 
and how you would install it into my place. I will let you know of a location. Grazer MC. Oh, did he really? Yay! He gave me a diamond. I got a sale. My first sale on the block shop. Say hi to Fred before you leave. He's right over here. Say hi to Fred. Fred wants to say hello. <laughs> Yay! All right, let's go place this order in the child dolphin's place. All right, I'm actually going to name the book because I want him to know it's mine. Grazer's order. Grazer's order. Okay. So I didn't really place an order there because I don't know how it works yet, but hopefully he gives me the details and how much it's going to cost. That's what I'm looking for here. Oh, there's an ender pearl. I guess I dropped that on the way. Patrick Clone, how are you, buddy? I'm doing doing swell. How about you, Mr. I'm doing, MC? I'm doing pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm excited for what we're about to do, and you just bought some uh, packed ice from me, so... Yes. For one diamond, I guess I owe you back somehow. Here's six gold. Will that do it? Yeah, that will do it. Yay! I'll be looking forward to uh, you restocking your packed ice, because I'm, I'm definitely going to need more. The thing about packed ice now. is that efficiency doesn't work on it, and I have to go out like a thousand blocks. But if the demand is high, and you want it, then I'll go get it for you, Pat. <laughs> Not this episode, but like a next episode no. or something. But anyways, guys, Pat and I are at the cactus shop. Uh, people have been telling me to tear this down time and time again. They said, there's no use, they said. And I'm like, you know what? I can find a use for it with Pat. And my honey has pranked me too many times. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Why don't we prick his house and put a billion cacti all over the place? Oh, wow. It looks like people have actually taken a lot of cactus. How many cactus? What the heck? People have actually taken some. Okay, there's a lot in the donations bin. Don't worry. <laughs> We're not going to run out <laughs> anytime soon. Uh, who's taking it? I think it might be, um, I think it might be Parker. He needs a cactus for his, uh, whatever he's building, a creeper or whatever. Um, anyways, <laughs> so Bat and I, we brought a bunch of sand and cacti. Cacti is plural for cactus, right? I'm not getting yes, that wrong. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to Bionni's place and we're going to just plant cacti everywhere and we're going to prick his house and we're going to put signs in front of it and hopefully I'm going to tell him to record when he goes there tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Anything to add? That's good. Oh, yeah. You were telling me that you were going to make like a sand stand. Uh, yes. Since you have so much sand. And, and the, the demand for I sand is actually significantly higher from me because I don't well, go to the deserts often. So I would probably yeah, buy I some. Think, I think what I could do is I could uh, do a sands and glass kind of shop. I think that yes. would actually be uh, glass pretty is, nice. Glass is used in so many builds, Pat. You'd make just, so much uh, money off that. Just as my first shop. It's not It's not the big shop I'm planning on, but it's definitely something that I could do. Yeah, exactly. And, and sand stand up. is like a catchy name for it. I like it. It is. Anyways, Pat and I are going to see you at Bionni's house once we get there, and then we'll commence the prank. All right, Pat, is this the first time you're ever seeing Bionni's house? This is the first time I've ever been here. <laughs> yeah, wow. but you've seen it before, right? Like on videos and stuff? Uh, I've seen it in uh, his videos. Yeah. Hold on. But I've never actually been here in person. Are you serious? I'm still focused. Did Am I serious? Yes. No, okay. I was going to say, did his supercharged creeper despawn too? I think his name is <laughs> Plusle, yeah. I was gonna. I was actually going to be kind of pissed because... <laughs> did you yeah. hear about the supercharged creeper that despawned at... Oh, he, I guess he didn't clean up the spring. Yeah, prank. I believe you uh, told me about that when I had my villager problem. Yeah, it was stupid. But yeah, we, plank, we pranked him on Valentine's Day and we'll prank him again now. But uh, let's, <laughs> let's go ahead and place sand everywhere. Put some cacti in here. All right. Woo, <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh yeah oh this is good so I guess I'll just have to place it here and here I hate cacti and the rules that they have yeah placing. it's really annoying come check out this room where are you at it's like literally oh, oh my gosh I've just been placing down like so slowly compared to you well I mean there's only so many places you can actually place it yeah oh, nice we can actually do that <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, and then we'll place some in here as well. Woo! I don't think he uses upstairs, so we won't place it upstairs. We'll place some outside to kind of lead him to the prank. So let's do that. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> this is so great. I love this. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of want him to... We should make a nice little path from his nether portal. Of cacti? Okay, let's do it. Yeah. 
I've, I've memorized the um, the cacti rules because I have a, a cactus farm. So I know exactly <laughs> how they're placed and stuff. Ooh. All right. Okay. Got some lovely cactus right around his portal. So when he comes out, he's going to be welcomed by this cactus. <laughs> it's funny. It's like a portal trap. <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to go too far as to kill him in the portal because we want him to see it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Do we want to put someone on, on, on like his roof and stuff too? Oh, that would be wonderful. Okay, the roof might be a bit of a problem. It's gonna be a bit more challenging because uh, mm -hmm. how how he has roof it laid out. He has some signs up here. You made it cactus proof. Ah, I've got you. Your signs are still up here. Oh yeah, he left them. <laughs> yep. Wow, didn't expect that. Oh, I love this. This is gonna be great. <laughs> Frick. He is going to have so much fun cleaning all of this up. Okay. I want to make sure. Oh, this is uh, gonna be great. Oh, he's gonna love the message. this. Message. <laughs> what, what do you want to put on the signs? Hmm. You've been pricked. <laughs> all right, so let's put some signs right at the beginning where he comes in. Uh, we'll put them right here. Pricked. So oh my goodness. By Ani. Your entire area is filled with cacti. How do you spell cacti? Is it just the I or is it two eyes? Uh, yes, C A C T I. Thank Actually, you. it might be two eyes. I'm gonna Google it because uh... <laughs> <laughs> it is just one eye. Okay. Okay. What? I would have never forgiven are myself you... if we misspelled that. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, what are you? Let's break this and this and this going to do now grazer and patrick clone there we go <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome i love this i can't this wait till you react to this all right well thanks pat thanks for coming on we no delivered a prank and hopefully he loves it and i guess i'll see you next time all right guys to finish off this episode we're gonna head to the minute shop real quick right here and tell me what you notice different about it real quick what what do you think is different I'll give you, I'll give you three seconds. One, two, three. Yes, there's a chest here now. Now it's not functional, but the idea is you come in and you pay a diamond. You put a diamond in the chest. Underneath this carpet here, which I'll reveal. Uh, I guess I can't really reveal it like that. I just know there's redstone under here. I have an ender pearl. It's all good. Oh, okay. The block is down there and it went into the hopper system. So underneath here is a dispenser. In the dispenser, there's going to be about nine books at a time and I believe dispensers dispense randomly so I don't think this should be a big problem there'll be nine book and quills like so but each book and quill will have a different activity in it the system will only accept diamonds if you put something else in it the dispenser will not shoot it out right now it doesn't work so if I put a diamond in it won't do anything but I found however that uh, this is a collection chest. I think those are two diamonds that John used. Yeah, it keeps getting stuck in the system places, but I found that, watch this, if I put this block back, then it it triggers it, and I really, I don't know why. Uh, if anyone knows why, let me know, but I'm pretty much going to get John to fix that up, and once I get that done, then I think the minute shop will be pretty much functional because we've got the payment chest and all of this all in one, and it looks a lot organized and, and everything, and my English is really good right now. Gonna put a cashier here, probably. I don't know what, probably with a clock in his hand. That would be awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for this episode, guys. I do hope you enjoyed, and I'm gonna see you again in two days. Later, alligator. Bye bye.